Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basir and welcome to the third video of 100 web project series. So in previous videos, we created a navigation bar, this kind of clone of bootstrap. Then we created this carousel. And today we are gonna create this horizontal tab using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So I already opened my code editor here. I'm gonna start creating the index.html file and creating the HTML boilerplate and calling this to be horizontal tab. Then a container that's basically going to wrap the entire tab here. This tab is going to have a header and there is a body in here. Okay, so within header, I'm gonna place all of the buttons uh, with class of button and obviously it has got a data target tab as well so this is the HTML well before that I'm gonna clone it three times so this is HTML CSS and JavaScript I'm gonna go with JS HTML CSS and JavaScript so in tab body I'm placing all the content of these respective buttons okay so in, in that case the content of HTML is going to be div.tab content and therein uh, going with h3 and p with some dummy content in there okay um, now let's clone it twice okay I also need to add an ID so that I can distinguish them and later using JavaScript so and this one is HTML and obviously the title is HTML then this is CSS and the title is CSS and finally this is JS and the title is JavaScript okay so let's run it in live server well this is how our project is gonna look now let's style it so I need to create style.css file here and then link our HTML file to that style.css back in style.css is just target the body go with margin of zero and then display it as flex justify content center okay align items center and then a height of 100 vertical height a font family of um, CUUI and a line height of 1.5 okay just some initial configuration display flex justify content and align item center is going to place our tab at the center of the page uh, both vertically and horizontally then it has a height of 100 VH and these two adders are pretty much self-explanatory then targeting this tab container I'm gonna say that this tab container is gonna have a width of like 992 pixels and margin 0 auto which is going to uh, position it on the x-axis at the center and now if I just go back here now you can see it's positioned at the center time to style in those uh, header as well so we got this tab header displayed as flex so display flex is going to position all of those buttons beside each other and that we have got the button as well so it got a padding of like um, 0.5 rim well actually you know what I'm going to put them side by side so you can see actually what's going on in real time coding okay here it is uh, well there we go that this padding it got a width of 33.3 percent and let's just move that at the top and that I'm gonna get rid of the background color with transparent the border is none here also the outline is none okay uh, well let's increase the phone size to 1.25 rim yep and a border bottom of one pixel solid gray okay now I need to make one of these active so you can see how does a active button looks like mm, well let's go with the second one this one here so if I go back and say that button dot active so the border is going to be one pixel solid CC there and that border bottom color is 
going to be white. When it's active, I want it to have a border, but the border bottom should vanish or just be transparent. In this case, it's just white, okay? And add a border radius for it. For the top, it's five pixel, five pixel, zero, and zero for these two bottoms down there. Okay, this looks pretty cool. And now let's style the uh, tab body here. You got a padding of like 0 0.5 rim and 1 rim. And then there is this tab content. It's initially going to have a display of none. So you can see that all of those are gone, but this tab content with class of active is gonna show up. So as you can see, the CSS tab in here right now is activated. So it's uh, associated content should be activated as well, which is, I believe this one down here. So I'm adding the class of active here and you'll instantly see that it's gonna show up. Okay, that's the tab content. Make sure that I spell that correctly down there. Mm, yep, here we go. So uh, this is the tab content actually here and let's add a phone size to overall body. I want it to look a bit bigger, okay? So now I think it's the CSS is enough. Let's just dive into JavaScript section, okay, script.js, and within the script.js, okay, I already prepared a flow in here for you, so this is what we are gonna do. When a button is clicked, I want to remove active class from all previous buttons and add that active class to the current clicked button. Same is true, we can remove the active class from all previous tab content and add it to the one that's associated to the current clicked button. We're gonna flip back to code editor and see how we can do that. First, let's get all the buttons. Document.query select to all and here targeting all the buttons then I'm gonna say that buttons dot for each so this is looping to every single one of those buttons and button dot class list dot add class of active there we go now if I click that that's not working because I forgot to connect it to the HTML file uh, well right now all of those are clicked uh, well basically we need to add an event handler here at event listener i'm saying that on click only those that are clicked add this class of active here now if i click html and javascript the active class is being added to there so as i said in the flow so we need to remove active class from all previous patterns now there is shown this way because all of those has this active class so how i do that is i'm gonna loop again through every single one of those buttons okay buttons dot for each and grabbing these buttons then say that button dot class list dot remove the active class okay and then just save it okay uh, now if I just click that well that works fine now the as a final step we need to show only that content which is related to this tab well for that I need to go document dot query selector and the button dot data set dot um, target tab dot class list dot add active okay now if I just hit HTML well um, nothing sounds to work yeah this is document dot query selector and not query selector all Actually, well now you can see that all of those are being shown in here I don't want this extraneous one to be shown just only the relevant one so for that to do I just need to go and say that document dot query selector all the tab contents um, okay so I'm gonna save it into a variable uh, let me actually maximize that. Call that as tab contents. Now saying that tab contents dot uh, for each tab content, and then say that tab content dot class name is equal to tab content dot class name dot replace active with none. There we go. So let's see 
well still sounds like it's not working yeah I forgot to add the dot here and save it and go back and then click that again okay now you can see it's shown correctly well in here I just want to explain these three lines of code you can actually use this one right here and use completely this kind of syntax but I used a different one just for you guys to know how you can do it differently there are alternatives of removing that active class from there you can either use this one or this three lines of code well obviously this is better I'd like to actually do that as well so tab contents dot for each tab I'll say that tab dot class list dot remove the active save it and comment these out now if I just flip back to the browser and click those now you can see it's still working okay as a final reminder I want to say that if you want to push all of these in here and not uh, kind of distribute the space between these buttons then you can do that as well all you have to do is to come at until here the tab container and add a border bottom of one pixel solid CCC just like that then position this one as a relative okay my hands are freezing it's really cold down here and making lots of typos okay from the top is one pixel and get rid of that from there well you can see well this is how I'm using it maybe you have a better approach if you do just comment out in section below and let me know so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video